Back in February, Walpole's Shantae Holmes and Kristen Kohlmeyer greeted a sea of hockey fans from the Jumbotron at the TD Garden in Boston. The two co-founders of the nonprofit organization Be Inclusive were recognized with the Community All-Star Award. Sponsored by the Boston Bruins and the Massachusetts State Lottery, the award highlights individuals who are working to create positive change in their communities. Walpole Media spoke with Shantae and Kristen to hear more about Be Inclusive and the work they're doing to help underrepresented communities feel included in Walpole. First of all, congratulations to you both on your Community All-Star recognition. That's very exciting. Could you start by explaining what the criteria for the award was and how you both met the criteria through your work with Be Inclusive? Um, so the criteria is very broad. Um, it really is just you can nominate anybody who's made a positive, positive impact in your community. Um, so one of our staff members had, um, had put in the nomination for us. And um, I guess the Bruins felt we <laughs> met that criteria through the work we've been doing in town um, by holding um, events around town that are inclusive and highlight groups that are typically underrepresented. Um, and yeah, that's how we, how we got in. Yep. And how did the game go and how did it feel to be recognized on such a large scale? It was great. Um, it was my very first um, hockey game ever, so that was exciting. Um, it, we had really good seats, they treated us really nice and made sure we were really comfortable. Um, and it was a really great experience to be taken to the top of um, TD and to go and uh, have the backdrop behind us and be able to wave in front of the crowd, know that we're on the Jumbotron. It was really nice. Um, and it was great for us to represent our town as well and show some of the great positive things that we are doing here in Walpole. What was the initial inspiration for creating Be Inclusive? So um, we really wanted to create a space um, initially for people who felt like they didn't have one in the town. Um, people who, um, you know, specifically are people of color and that's where we started with Juneteenth. Um, and so now it's grown to include a lot of other holidays and, you know, celebrations and traditions that people really want us to make um, a staple in the community. And so that's really important. And people have been approaching us too and saying, hey, you know, have you con considered doing this holiday, which is where Holy is coming from, which will be coming up on April 6th. And can you talk about some of the group's accomplishments in Walpole so far? Um, so we are coming up on our fifth annual Juneteenth celebration, um, which we can't, <laughs> it's crazy that we're at the fifth year already. Um, so that's been really exciting and we are hoping to have a nice big celebration for that this year. Um, we have also done three Diwali celebrations. Um, we will have our first Holi celebration this year. Um, we're also hoping to put together a Pride event, which will be our first as well. Um, and then another program we have is the Multicultural Books Initiative, um, where we donate diverse books to the elementary schools. Um, and to date, we have donated almost 200 titles um, to each of the four elementary schools. Um, so we've added just a lot of new books and new stories and the libraries that we're really excited about. And we also have done a lot of collaboration within the town um, with the school district, with the diversity, equity, inclusion director, um, with different um, community organizations in town. The high school students, so we've also have um, now have a really good working relationship with the um, guidance counselors where students need extra credit or volunteer hours, they can come and work with us, um, which is really nice because we are in their community and they are really excited to know that we exist, which is great. Um, and it's opened up some more opportunities for them as well as us. Um, and I think just the last thing is just to increase um, our participation every year, like that's an overall goal, which I think we have done by increasing the people that are attending, uh, our volunteers increased, um, the demographics of the volunteers have changed, which is great. Um, so, yeah. What is Be Inclusive's vision for Walpole? Um, we hope that the events that we're putting together um, really become part of the community and part of the regular events that happen like Walpole Day or the Santa Parade or the Fourth of July fireworks. And our hope is that everybody in the community participates. Um, the events we put on are not just for the people who celebrate that holiday or who recognize um, 
the, the traditions that, that we're representing. Um, it really is for everybody so that we can come together and maybe spark some curiosity and some learning um, among each other if we don't know about the celebration um, and really use it as a, as a way to connect everybody in the community. And for folks who currently aren't feeling as represented that they are starting to see that um, they are included in the town and that they are recognized and that they have um, more of a sense of being included and, and connected with their community members. I also just wanted to just just add that it's it's also a place to go. It's a, we want to be a resource for the community, and I think some of that that's starting to happen, where people are reaching out to us, not just around events, but you know, books and what type of books that can be helpful for educating their families or their individual school community. So um, I really hope that we can continue to be a resource and grow that a little bit more. So I know to start, we are really thinking about taking the MBI Multicultural Books Initiative to other districts. Um, there have been other um, towns that are interested in what we have already done uh, over the last four years in Walpole Schools, which is really great. And maybe also um, expand to upper grade levels within Walpole um, because folks have reached out and said they love what we're doing already when the elementary level. Can we do the same with middle and high? Um, and maybe for our, like Kristen mentioned, to have our community events become more regular um, um, and like again be a part of our um, town calendar, um, just like the others. What can you tell us about what the group did for Black History Month? We worked together with um, the Walpole Peace and Justice Group and United Church um, for the Martin Luther King Jr. Observance Day. Um, Shantae was actually the keynote speaker <laughs> for that event, um, so that was exciting. We also put in our book donations, made sure that all of our books um, were related to the Black History Month theme. During the month of February, we also did a hair care drive um, where we got hair care items together and put and packaged them up into little carry bags um, for kids who are in the foster care system and donated those um, in February. And just in general, we intentionally make sure that the books that we're sending to the schools and the things that we're putting on social media are including black and brown folks um, so that really throughout the year people are seeing this information and that it's not just during this one month in February. How can people reach you if they'd like to get involved with Be Inclusive or learn more information? Um, so you can reach out to our general email at info at beinclusivema.org or our first names at um, beinclusivema.org to reach us directly. We have a variety of different opportunities from helping with fundraising, with our events that we put on, um, supporting us um, on our board. Um, we we you know, sometimes have board openings. Um, and then we also are always looking for people to help us with reading the books and vetting our books that we are donating to the schools every month, as well as you know creating um, a, a list of resources that can help support the students and the staff as the staff are trying to introduce these new topics and themes to the schools um, in general. Be Inclusive's first ever Juneteenth celebration marked the beginning of the group's expansion, allowing them to reach even more sectors of the town. In the future, Shantae and Kristen hope to broaden Be Inclusive's work, creating visibility and representation for everyone in Walpole. For Walpole Media, this is Jessica Kurgo.